Hey, so I thought the idea of an internet lunch was so cute that I couldn't pass it up. And I know this is like two whole weeks ago now, but I still thought it was cute and I only just saw the videos now, so I'm going to do it. So I'm going to be eating, well, I have a Nantucket nectar to drink, which is juice. They're really good. Uh, I have an apple. I have Swedish fish. <laughs> I have pretzels. I have this like apricot bar thing. Because I'm actually meeting people for lunch in like, what time is it now? In like um, an hour. But I figured it'd be fun to eat with you guys. Like do a double lunch today, sort of. Maybe I won't be hungry by the time I get to them, but who cares? So I too have been watching the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. And I'm glad you guys like them because I really love them and I thought they were the cutest thing ever. But I was talking to a friend from school about them. And she was saying she wasn't a big fan. She thought it was kind of weird. Um, she was okay with the fact that they dropped Mary and Kitty, but she didn't like how they've adapted it to like um, more modern society to the video blog idea. And she was saying like she wished they'd done it differently. But I'm really glad to hear positive feedback from you guys because I didn't want to say too much in front of her about like how I think it's the coolest idea ever, and I'm so excited about it. So yeah. More on the subject of Pride and Prejudice. Okay, so there's this really ridiculously cute boy, right? And I was talking to him one day at like 6 o'clock in the morning because a group of us had stayed up all night just hanging out and playing Mafia. If you don't know that game, you should. It's amazing. Anyway, so we had like, we just hung out. We were talking at the end of the night and I was asking him what he was planning on doing because he said he was going to stay up until breakfast, which starts at 7.30. And he said he was just going to read Pride and Prejudice. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was really shocked. Like, what, what college age boy is just randomly reading Pride and Prejudice? So I asked him about it. And he said he'd never read it before, and a friend suggested that he read it, and he had been open to reading it, so why not? So he's just doing it now. Which I literally turned to him, and I was just like, you are perfect. And I meant it. And then, then at, like, later that day, it was perfect out, so I just was, like, randomly reading Pride and Prejudice, laying out on the lawn on a beach towel. <sighs> I love the spring. But yeah, um... If you guys wanted to do a book club through Goodreads, I would be totally into that. I know I sort of suck at putting up videos these days, but I would be 100% behind that. I even read the first Lord of the Rings books, and we never really discussed those, but I did read it. So I'm totally into doing a book club. Okay, on this topic, I promise I will mention it once and never mention it again if you guys are offended by it or don't want to hear about it or anything like that. So I am completely and totally obsessed with One Direction. And Kate, you're probably like, Ugh. Just because, like, they're so young and you're like, how could you like them? And I, I feel like you guys are going to judge me at least a little bit. But they're so amazing. I love their music. I love how cute they are. I love their video blogs when you see, like, how great their personalities are. I'm madly in love with Louie, who is my age, at least for the next week. I turn 21 next Sunday, by the way, if you didn't know that. Um, so for a while, I'm his age. Um, I love just they're immature. They're adorable. Like, it, they don't act like fame has gotten to them, at least not to the point, like, that their video blogs show. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be seeing them summer 2013, which is a really long time from now, but I'm really, really excited about it. Seriously, Swedish Fish are God's best gift to man. So it may be baseball, but Swedish Fish are God's second best gift to man. And I wanted to really quickly fill you guys in on my trip because it was amazing. So I don't know if you've seen my pictures on Facebook, but there are only like, you know, 250 of them posted on Facebook or some certain number like that. Um, so... I went to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, which was hit last year by some tornadoes, and uh, so we went and worked with Habitat for Humanity. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's a really amazing organization that helps build houses for people who like can't afford them or have had theirs like ripped apart or by storms or something like that. Anyway, so we we helped build a house. It was like the foundation was there and like the frame was there, but we did basically everything on top of that, and it was it was amazing to go through the process and work with. 10 other students, three chaplains from my school, and um, uh, just a whole bunch of other volunteers to put together this house. And in the evenings, we'd like discuss like religion and faith related questions. And we just, it was like an interfaith group. So like we got multiple perspectives and it was just like such an amazing trip. And that's where the guy who likes Pride and Prejudice is from. Like that's how I know him. So I'm um, just, I've had so many amazing conversations about like purpose of life and religion and like what it means to believe in God, just like amazing, amazing things. And I wish there was more discussion like that. Like I go to a fairly intelligent, intellectual school, but I feel like we, we avoid those conversations too much and I wish we could have them more often. And I mean, it's not necessarily like everybody should talk about religion all the time, but it's like people should be willing to talk about that kind of thing, like the hard discussions to have. 
As for a Skype party, I'm totally, totally all for that. Um, this weekend's kind of hard for me because it's my birthday weekend, but I would try to make it work. Like, basically I'd put that above most things. So, maybe we could have a Skype birthday party. Not that I just suggested a party for myself, again, because I'm already, I'm already throwing a party for myself, but just, that'd be fun. Alright, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it to work that fast, though. Okay. Oh, and twice in the last week, once somebody recognized my French Llama poster, and once somebody recognized my DFTBA poster, and I was so, so excited, because it's been a while since anyone's recognized them. So, um, yeah. I love when people are, like, nerd fighters in real life. It's fun. Okay. Bye! DFTBA, guys!